In this session, we will understand the difference between row store and column store tables. Typically, any relational database management systems use row based data storage. But for analytical applications, column based data storage is more suitable. In our case, HANA supports both row store and column store tables. But it is optimized for column store tables. By end of this session, you will understand why column store tables are more suitable for analytical applications and why SAP HANA optimized for column store tables only. So by seeing this, we Anybody can say this is a table and it's a combination of rows and columns formulated in a two-dimensional fashion. So this is a imaginary layout for our understanding purpose. But when you see computer memory layout, it's structured linearly. So there is no concept called two-dimensional or three-dimensional memory in the computer memories. Then how this two dimensional table is going to store in a linear memory? Let's see. So when you see the row store table, the record number one stored first and then next to the record number one, record, record two, and then record three, and then record four. That means sequence of rows. So the row store table stores data in sequence of rows. What about column store then? Column store stores data in sequence of columns. So the column first country stored in the memory after the country, then product came into picture, then order, then revenue. So basically row store is a sequence of rows and column store is a sequence of columns. If you observe column store table, you see there is there are two entries for the country US and three entries for the pen. But when we compress this table to eliminate duplicates, then the compression table will be like this. When you see the column store table after compression, it eliminates the duplicates and the country block is having only three entries and the product is having only two entries. And we can save three cells after compression. So this is a small table with four entries. So you see already it's, it saved three cells. For example, a company sells only 10 different products. And if you see their sales table, if that sales table is having 10 million rows, the product column in the sales table will have only 10 different products. So instead of 10 million rows, the column store table holds only 10 entries for the product column. That means the compression happened at million times. In general, there are two types of operations we perform on a table, row operation and column operation. So what is row operation? If you are trying to extract, insert or modify one full record with all columns, then it is called a row operation. So the example of SQL statement is select star from table where country is equal to Canada. So here the country is Canada and we are selecting all the columns. Whereas the column operation is if you are selecting few columns in a table then it is going to be a column operation. For example select product revenue from a table. So this table is holding four columns but I want to see the data of product and revenue. Revenue 
on product wise so this is called a column operation when you perform when you perform select on specific columns let's see how the row operation and column operation are going to work in a row store and column store tables so we we see this scenario row store is sequence of rows and column store is sequence of columns so before going to the row operation and column operation let's understand one small, small thing so computer when you, when you send a select statement to the row store table or column store table then it will scan the memory linearly like from left to right for example if you consider left to right and we'll take uh, we'll assume our processor speed is one tuple per second tuple is nothing but a it's a memory language so for example if we say these four cells become one tuple then to read this record it's going to take one second time so that is one tuple per second so to read whole table of this row store we have one two three four so four four tuples so it will take four seconds to scan the row store table fully say in uh, similarly for the column store also we have four tuples and it will take four seconds to scan the whole column store table so when you perform select star from table where country is equal to canada it will scan the whole row store it will it will go through the row store table and as soon as it hit the canada canada record the country canada then it will start read the table so to read one block i mean one tuple it will take one second time and when we use star it's going to read all the all the columns of particular record and all these columns are next to each other and it will finish in one one scan like this whole tuple will be performed in one scan similarly for the column store when you select star from table where country is equal to canada the column store is structured column after the column sequence of columns so first it will pick the country then the product then order value order number then order revenue so here computer scan starts from left to right and it will scan this first tuple and it will pick up the canada then it will scan to the second second tuple then it will pick up the second second cell pen like that it needs to scan and it needs to scan and read all the cells of column store whereas row store it didn't find canada in first three tuples then it will skip all these three tuples and it will go to the final tuple and then pick up the final record canada pen order 4 8000 but here for the order 4 is distributed across the memory so it needs to scan the whole table to read order 4 record so if we see in terms of time to read row store table it will take 1 second whereas column store table it will take 4 seconds so we can conclude that row row operation on a row store table is very fast compared to the row store, row operation on column store table let's go to the column operation on both row store and column store here we are selecting only product and revenue from a table and when it comes to row store product product revenue are distributed across the row store table because it's a sequence of rows so each product will be in different different locations similarly for the column on the column store 
all products in one tuple, all revenues in second tuple. That means it needs to scan only two tuples. Whereas row up row store, it needs to scan all four tuples. In time wise, row row store takes four seconds. Column store takes two seconds. Right. So this is four record case. But uh, again, if we consider our previous example, one company with 10 million records in sales table for 10 different products, uh, the system will read only 10 records. So you can imagine the performance gain on the, uh, for the column operation on column store table. So to conclude this, column operation on column store table is faster than the faster than the column operation on row store table. So finally, we see the access is fast and the compression is very good. And the third option, third advantage with the column store table is parallel processing. By default, each column table is partitioned vertically. That means each column is a separate partition. When you read two or three columns, what the computer process is going to do, it will assign like a, if we have four core processor and you are trying to read two columns like a product and revenue, then the processor will assign one core to each column. Like two cores will assign to product and revenue and both columns will read in parallel. So the processing speed will be high. It need not to wait for the wait wait to read column one, then column two. So both column one and two can read in parallel. So the parallel processing is another big advantage with the column store tables. So all these operations, compression, data access, and parallel processing, these are all most common use cases for the analytical application. That's why column store table is more suitable for analytical applications and HANA is an analytical system. So HANA is optimized for column based data store. Okay. So the column store is more useful Then why HANA is supporting both row store and column store. Row store still have an advantage. We, we saw in previous slide, the row operation on a row store table is faster than the column store table. So the row operation is nothing but a, when you run the select star, ta star statement or when you are inserting records into a table. So when you are inserting a record, that means the whole record you are going to insert. That's a row operation. So the row store tables are more optimized to write, write the data and column store tables are more optimized to read the data. So when you are reading the data, the column stores tables are very good. When you are writing the data, row store tables are very good. So you will understand uh, in more details when we see the delta merge operation. There, HANA uses both row store and column store tables interchangeably to make the performance better. So that's all about row store and column store tables.